Any speaker cards? Any speaker we cards? We do have one. Bob okay. Chandra. Good evening. Good evening. I uh, appreciate the opportunity to speak with you today. And I want to thank uh, Councilman Marty Medina for inviting us today. Some of you may have heard about the scandal involving Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein is a Hollywood producer, and over 30 years, he sexually harassed or raped over 80 women that we know about. He did this over such a long period of time, it makes you wonder, how did he get away with it for so long? The answer to that question came in an expose from the New Yorker, which described a system Weinstein used against his victims using private investigative firms. The PI firms were used to intimidate and harass these women so as to deter them from going public with their concerns. If they were walking on foot, the PI firm would follow her around town. If she was in the park with her family, the PI would come in an intimidating SUV uh, and park nearby. The point was to silence Weinstein's Me Too victims, and it worked for 30 years. This system is called covert harassment, and it was not just Weinstein who's used this system. Increasingly, it's a collection of techniques, a protocol that the wealthy and the powerful are using against the powerless. It systematically breaks down the target in a secretive, psychological way. Covert harassment often includes improper surveillance, such as the kind I described, tailing and following, uh, hacking of devices, and coordinated harassment. It is meant to cause fear, stress, and paranoia in the subject. Another group that uses covert harassment is Scientology. Leah Ramini, a Hollywood actress and former Scientologist, produced a documentary showing video evidence of how Scientology members follow and harass critics. A Department of Justice study found several hundred thousand Americans suffer from this predatory behavior. In other words, we know the problem is pervasive. Our support group, Live Free, works with dozens of victims, and two-thirds are women. The problem goes far beyond Weinstein. We are requesting that San Bruno pass a citywide resolution condemning covert harassment. We believe such a resolution would make the seriousness of the crime clear to everyone involved. Most of all, it would make the victims of this systematized harassment feel that they've been heard. A resolution would put the Weinsteins out there on notice. We request to meet with city staff and discuss the issue in greater detail and explore feasibility of drafting a city resolution to this end. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anybody else from the public that wanted to speak on items that are not on the agenda? 